Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a smooth working ladder where you can walk down it and it'll still work. And it's similar to what Valve does in their Half-Life 2 games. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut this scene and I'm going to go show you the example in the game. So, let's just... As you saw in the video, um... I was going left and right because I wanted to show you that it's not like a regular uh, Counter-Strike source ladder that you just walk on and you can go any way in any direction you want. That does not work with uh, Orange Box anymore for some weird reason. So, what are you seeing while I was at the top or the bottom of the ladder? And I didn't have to jump off. You could press E and it slides you out right there. So that's one of the useful things about the this info ladder dismount. It slides you out. So uh, I created a prefab for it, and if you're lazy, which you shouldn't be when you're mapping, oh well though. Uh, I have a download link for you, and all you have to do is go to prefabs, go to Domus ladder, and insert original prefab, then edit it to your liking. So, now, let's go ahead and recreate this from scratch. Except, from instead of scratch, uh, let's say you already have your model here. Because placing your model, uh, it's kind of annoying at first. So I don't want to take up precious time when I could be explaining stuff. So first, let's put a... A uh, info use our uh, sorry ladder funk usable ladder apply. Now let's name this ladder zero one. Name funk usable ladder zero one. Okay, flags nothing. Just leave that alone. Now where is it? It's it's under my floor because I have boxed it in since there's displacements around and stuff. So number one tip is never never let it touch the world or any brushes or anything. Have at least one unit space away like this. Now if you can't see this little circle thing here then click this little globe at the top right by run map right there I guess that's supposed to help or something okay now this is what you do you put it at the top where you know it's going to get off like this I think I'll use that and then I'll go ahead and save this cause just in case now that we have that we're going to create three different new entities and three up here. Now I'm going to drag all of those out of the floor. I'm going to set my grid to four because it's annoying right now. Maybe back to two because I have to. Anyway. Okay. Now, uh, go to info ladder dismount. Ladder name should be the ladder name we set for this yellow thing here. And that should work. Now, before we even get close to finishing anything, we should fix this. I think I'm, I'm doing this wrong for this part because the ladder, ladder model, yeah, okay, no, that's fine actually. Because sometimes the ladder model can, if it just touches it, then it will not work ever again unless you fix it. Same applies up here. If you see that the yellow outline, if the info dismount ladders up here are touching that yellow outline, it will not work because it considers that as the model. 
So just keep that in mind. So let's take these out of the floor now. And until up here. And let's set these to info ladder dismount. And the ladder zero again. Has to be the same name. And then let's see. Now, if we t click on this model again, where is the space between this and this? Exactly the same. So I'm going to drag it out one more unit, and as for this, I'll I'll keep that because it's actually how I wanted it to be. Maybe I'll put that in. Put this one out one, just to match with that or something. It's all weird, but in the end, it works and it's perfect compared to the Counter Strike Source way. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and run our next clip, and this time, to tell that there's a difference, like that, it's a the one that I just made right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and. Overlays. I'm going to go to Boon, my custom textures. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And whoa, that was really big, but whatever. Okay. okay. Not by Dominic Hex, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. If you guys don't know what this is, this little this thing's called info overlay. It's much more convenient than uh this applying decals because what this does is this puts it only on one side while applying decals it puts it puts it on both. Plus overlays you can resize the texture you can without distorting it and you can do other stuff too. You can resize it, you can flip it, or do other stuff. Um yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and compile and I'm going to skip this part. Uh this has been a source SDK tutorial by Dominic Hacks and I think this is the simplest and the easiest way to make ladders in Half Life Two games and it is recommended by Valve. And this is actually how they make all their ladders. Uh, there are no ladders in Team Fortress 2, so you'll have to look up for another tutorial, or maybe in the future I'll make a tutorial on that. Maybe. Not guaranteeing it, but you know. Okay. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, I guess. I don't only do tutorial videos, I do gameplay videos, I do walkthroughs, I guess you could say. I just post videos that are pretty cool and useful, I guess, to the community. So, yeah. See ya.